across America, classic drive-in movie theaters are slowly going dark. But one Albuquerque man has a dream of bringing that nostalgia back here. News 13's Brianna Salazar tells us about his Duke City Drive-In campaign. Chris Hughes says drive-in theaters are as American as Route 66. And he says there needs to be a drive-in on Route 66. Hughes has started a campaign to bring a drive-in to the Duke City. At one time, there were 45 theaters in New Mexico, but there are only two left, in Las Vegas and Carlsbad. That's where Hughes says he got the idea. The, the way it started is when I went to Carlsbad a couple years ago, and they have a really cool drive-in movie theater down there, and I just fell in love with it. I thought it was such a great way to watch a movie and sitting under the stars. And I, it just doesn't make sense to me that there's not one in Albuquerque or at least closer to Albuquerque for people to go to. Drive-in movie theaters like this one had to close because their equipment was so outdated. But this is something that Hughes says they will get past with the help of today's technology. Hughes has created a website and Kickstarter campaign looking for donations to start the Duke City Drive-In. Right now, he's looking to raise 50 grand for a screen and a temporary location. There are three spots he's considering, Expo New Mexico, a lot in the South Valley, and the old Sunset Drive-In location. That area already has a screen. Hughes thinks a drive-in would give old Route 66 a more historic feel. We have four children, and when you were talking about that, we said to each other, we said, yeah, I mean, I it would be something that would absolutely, I think we'd really, they'd love it, we'd love going, sure. Especially on Route 66, it'd be great. And it's just going to be sort of like a fun project and people are going to get a lot of say in how it works and um, it's going to be, you know, creating jobs for people locally here. Brianna Salazar, KRQE News 13. If all goes well, Hughes hopes to have the theater running by next year. You can check out his campaign at krqe.com.